Hello everyone, this is Aaron here, and this is um, Aaronator coming to you on YouTube, and this is um, my brand new Transformers video review, only this time they're on the 25th anniversary um, Insecticons, and they're also Decepticons here, and they're also based on the Diaclone version of the um, Insecta robots back in Japan um, in 1983, released by Takara, and, um, and there's um, Bombshell here um, on the right, and there's Kickback in the centre, and there's Shrapnel on the left. And they didn't do the um, um, original um, Transformers box art um, for the for the American versions because um, they feel and they feel decide um, they decided to um, come up with the um, the American versions. And um, you first look at the back of the, on the spine of this box. There's a um, um, Shrapnel at the top, Kickback in the middle, and there's um, Bombshell at the bottom. And if you also look at the back, there are the Insecticons um, again. And they're real cool. And box art, and box out of 10, I'm going to give the box art um, a really big 10 out of 10 because um, I also like the original um, box art. And, um, and this box art is real cool. And that's just my opinion. If you also open um, this box, um, you see um, um, there's um, the Insecticon known as um, Hardshell, there's um, Bombshell. I also prefer to call him um, Bombshell, but um, Hardshell is um, different. And there's, um, and there's Kickback, he still kept his name. And um, there's also um, Sharpshot, ori originally, uh, sorry, originally known as Shrapnel, which is real cool. And I'm also glad I got this from the um, Royal Mail today, because I also bought this um, from um, on eBay, and this, this is also a Toys R Us um, exclusive. And um, it also comes with um, with his stickers, which I'm not going to apply onto, so I'm going to keep them intact. And um, he also comes with um, a new new set of instructions on how to transform the Insecticons into their robot robot modes. Um, the first one at the top, there's a hard shell shows you how, shows you how to transform hard shell from um, beetle into his robot mode. And the second Insecticon shows you how to transform um, um, shrapnel. From he, from Stag Beetle into a robot, and last but not least, Kickback in in his Grasshopper mode. And these instructions also trans shows you how to transform um, Kickback from his Grasshopper mode into his robot mode. And at the bottom of these instructions, they show you how to apply the um, stickers onto um, the Insecticons. But apparently, um, I'm not going to apply um, um, the stickers um, onto the um, um, insecticons because I'm keeping them um, sealed but I'm still going to be buying some um, from repro labels a bit um, a bit soon so um, this is um, one of the these are one of the um, insecticon um, label decals right here as I'm showing you right now and I'm going to leave these ones um, intact leave these, uh, sorry, leave these ones um, unsealed sorry and um, I'm going to transform now um, Bombshell. You um, bring out his arms like this, um, which is real easy, to, which I also found easy to do right now as I follow the instructions. And bring out his leg. Sorry, bring out his legs like this. Bring out his arms like this. Bring out his head like this, and there he is. Bombshell. And I'm also going to rub the um, secret emblem on this side to see if this transformer's real. See if it's Autobots or Decepticon. I'm going to give it a rub a little bit harder. And yes, it is a Decepticon. And and Bombshell also comes with his um with his weapon. And there he is, Bombshell. I'm going to put Bombshell down. And now on to Kickback. I'm going to see if this Transformer um, Secret Emblem is also bought on Decepticon on Kickback. Yep, it is definitely a Decepticon. Give it another rub again. Yep, definitely Decepticon. Now I'm going to um, bring out his arms like this. Bring out his other arm like this. I don't want to damage the wings. Bring him out like this. And his other one like oh, bring out his other one like this. Oh, got to turn his head round first. Sorry about that. Bring out his head like this. 
Do his arms like that, and his other one like that. His two wings upright, and about his legs like that. Oh, forgot to um, turn. Oh, I didn't turn him around. And about his one of his antenna like that. And here he is, kickback. And also I've got um, his main weapon. Goes on like. Oh. Sorry, wrong, wrong weapon. That one's um, for shrapnel. This now, this is the weapon for um, for bombshell. And there he is, bombshell in his attack mode. Bzz. Put bombshell down. Not sorry, kickback. Sorry, forgot to um, turn. Got to turn his head around properly. Ah, now that's more like it. There he is. Bum, no, not bum cell. Kickback. Now, last but not least, shrapnel. <laughs> Bring out his um, horns like this. Bring out his legs like this. Go up to see if this one spots real or not. No, Decepticon, sure or not. And yes, this is a Decepticon. Bring out his feet like that and turn him around. Well, I see his feet like there just now. Um, and his back, um, his um, legs, he puts in like that. And bring out his arms like that. And his other arm like that. And there he is. And there's his weapon. There he is. Shrapnel. And. And they're also featured in the um, 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 one of the last um, episode, one first um, season, first and second season of um, the original Transformers. And I'm also happy to be a big um, Transformers G1 fan myself. And so there you have it. There's um, but Mark South I'm going to give these um, these three Transformers a really big ten out of ten because they are a must for all Transformers G1 fans and another must for all um for all other Transformer fans as well. So, there's Kickback, sorry, Bombshell, sorry, there's Kickback, and sh there's Shrapnel. And I hope you've all enjoyed this video review, and I'll see you all again real soon. And please feel free to rate, comment, and send in any video responses any time after this video. In the meantime, take good care of yourselves, and I'll see you all again real soon. And, um, Love to hear what you, and I'd like to hear what you lot think. Bye for now.